and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod, as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. The biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. here just in time, well not quite just in time, she should have been here about five, ten minutes ago. Uh, but okay, right, Victoria says there was nowhere to park. So Victoria has been out doing a um, Pilates class this evening, first one since lockdown. Um, whatever you want. So uh, the, the run has started about four minutes ago uh, and um, we knew Victoria was going to be cutting it fine, uh, but uh, we thought she might be here on time. As it is, she's just a little bit late. Ryan Perring says, Victoria has changed. Yeah, so I actually... So Victoria has cheated uh, because 400 metres was actually me walking. 300 metres was me walking. Uh, but she's here, she's running. Uh, um, do you want your heart rate on? Okay, we better put heart rate. Have you got your heart rate strap on? Okay. And have you set it up on your watch? Okay. Right, let's just get Victoria's heart rate going. (laughs) 
Victoria was so keen to get here for the start of the run. Uh, she was out of the door before anyone else had rolled up their Pilates mat. Uh, right, you need to you need to stretch out your wrist and make sure we've got a connection. Is it started and everything? Uh, we haven't got anything at the moment. It's all a bit rubbish. Victoria stood still, not doing anything. Uh, it's very nice of Clive to wait for us. Thank you very much, Clive. Yeah. Um, doesn't seem like we have any heart rate going on. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we're off and going. No heart rate, unfortunately. Uh, Ryan Perring says, this is what we've come to expect from, from my run now. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so now Victoria's getting a bad reputation for, for being late or, or having problems. Well, it's not a problem. It's not a technical issue or anything. It's just, you know, unprofessionalism. That's what it is. It's unprofessionalism. But we love a bit of unprofessionalism on the Film My Run channel. Uh, Jeff Parcher says, Tina Beard seems like I haven't been here for ages. Uh, uh, Tina says, uh, hello, FMR family. Nice to see you all. Uh, Grace Shin uh, says she's watching Film My Room while she's working. Steve Milne, hi all. Oh, hang on a minute. That's just gone off the bottom of the screen there. Uh, Anna says, too much ice cream, Steve. Yeah, I couldn't run today. I actually went out this, this afternoon or this morning. This morning and into this afternoon for quite a long old jaunt. So uh, I felt my legs were not up to running tonight. Uh, so Steve Milne says, hi all, I'm not running tonight because I'm resting my tired little legs. Well, that's exactly the same as me, Steve. So I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, we are professionally unprofessional. That's it. We, we're consistently unprofessional. And it's, it's also unprofessional, but the, I seem to be very dark. Don't I? There's no light on me. Hang on a minute. Let me just check, turn this around. Does that help get any more light on me? A little bit more. I'm, I'm okay on this camera, though. But I'm quite dark on this camera, aren't I? Not to worry. Uh, so, uh, after all that malarkey, um, we are running the Z uh, ZLDR uh, Recovery 10K. Uh, so, Victoria's just done Pilates and she's come back to run 10K. Uh, Victoria is... Uh, just having an easy run, but she does need to do some speed work this week, she said to me. So, uh, later in the week, later in the week, we will do a uh, Wednesday workout with Victoria. Um, I'm having, I'm having, I'm having a, a kind of few days off uh, from, well, actually, I might run tomorrow evening, but we'll see. Um, I'm having a few days off of Zwift because I'm doing some long distance outside this week. Uh, in preparation for my South Downs Way 100, which is ramping up. I'm ramping up the mileage this week and next week. Uh, try and do 100 miles a week this week and next week. So we'll see if I manage that. Uh, Tina Beard says, I finally levelled my Noble Pro today. 0%. It's like running downhill. Uh, Ryan Perring, uh, I... Because I'm saying I'm quite dark on camera. You're saying you are you you are not the focus of attention tonight. Take a day off, will you? <laughs> Grace uh, says, "Yeah, professional is no fun, Ryan." A trucking lad uh, who I think is Louis uh, says, "Stephen, I am uh, cycling whilst I watch. All in preparation for duathlon in September and triathlon in July." And, and also, I'm doing my film my run on Friday. Excellent. Uh, so, right, Clive, Victoria wants to know, do you want to do progressive or staying at this pace? I think you should do progressive, Victoria. Yeah, up at point two, go on. Right, a little bit quicker, Clive. Uh, so very chivalrous of Clive to wait for Victoria. Um, who was late to the party today. We do actually have a lot to discuss today, actually, um, in terms of Zwift. Uh, Jonathan Cost, thanks for the ride on. Ride on! Uh, Ryan Perring says, when is South Downs away? Uh, second week of June. So I've got 
two weeks of heavy mileage this week and next and then we are yeah then then we're um scaling back the mileage um but i also have some work on um at the end of may so we'll be down as you know we'll be down in cornwall for the traverse um at the end of may and then in the first week of june we're filming the backyard ultra in suffolk so um it, i am gonna have to do less mileage those weeks and then the weekend after that the second week of june is south downs way 100 but hopefully i will be ready for that so a couple of big weeks of mileage uh gina says whoop, whoop, we got victoria yeah hello gina see if I can type a message without it looking stupid. You got your phone here? Oh, okay, not to worry. Oh, messed it up. Hi, plus Gina. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, yes, so trucking lad, uh, yeah, uh, Louis has uh, got a jump on the, uh, the gossip. Uh, yeah, we know that Japan, or we know that the Tokyo Olympics are coming soon. And Zwift has partnered with the uh, Tokyo Olympics. And they have had the Japan or the Tokyo course kind of ready for quite some time now. Uh, obviously, because of the, the delay with coronavirus, uh, Tokyo was not released. But it's been getting ever closer. There have been more and more rumours over the past few weeks that it is coming and this week there are already new rumors circulating new clues from Zwift so if you've seen Zwift's post today uh, Craig Taylor by the way thank you very much uh, that's appropriate uh, Craig Taylor from Zwift HQ right on. oh there's Kristen Johnson just taken over um so a new post today from Zwift announcing the ancient world it was a, tra it's a little train journey on Zwift and there's a map on the wall. Go and have a look at the Zwift Facebook page. There's a map on the wall and the map on the wall states the destination is the ancient world. And uh, you can only surmise that an ancient world is uh, Japan. Uh, so we think Japan is coming very soon. Perhaps, perhaps even this week. Uh, but if not this week, certainly be be well before the end of May, uh, because there are already rides scheduled for um, Japan at the end of May, at the 1st of June. I think there's a ride. No runs I've seen yet, but I actually I haven't fully checked. So um, we need to check. Has anyone been to the real Japan, says Victoria? Anyone? anyone watching ever been to japan i've been to china i've been i've been to the the uh the wall the, Ber the, the berlin wall well i've been to the berlin wall as well but uh, i've been to the great wall um but i've never been to japan so anybody been to japan anybody been to tokyo uh, let's just put that on the chat actually Jeff Partridge says, my sister has run the Tokyo Marathon. Uh, Louis says, I have. It's lovely. Yeah, isn't that what I said? What did I say? No, Jeff Partridge's sister has run the Tokyo Marathon. And Trucking Lad says, I have. It's lovely. Uh, there's camera four looking splendid. Adele Torres says, not been there, but once I listened to a Tokyo Hotel song. Kappa. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we've all have heard the. Oh, what's the song? Um, no, no, no. Um, 
In Love with a Japanese Boy. Who's that by? I can't remember. Yeah, there was a song in the 80s called Something About Japan. I can't remember now. Oh, no, Grace has tried to do uh, an emoji. Not an emoji. What's it called? Um, a GIF, a, an animated GIF uh, on the fa- on the, the chat on Facebook. Uh, but she said it didn't work. Oh, well, I can see the GIF there. Maybe it didn't come up. Turning Japanese. That's one. Yes, turning Japanese. That was a good song. Yes. That, that is an 80s classic, turning Japanese, yeah. And big in, and, and another one, Big in Japan. Do you not remember that one? I would, I would sing it, but you don't want me to sing, do you? Yeah, turning Japanese is the song that I was thinking of. And um, Big in Japan is another one uh, Del Torres tells us. Reminds us. But there was definitely one about um, um, Mr. Can you tell me where my love has gone? He's a Japanese boy. Do you remember that one? Um, Will Rouse, well, says, I've set up a relay team for Strava on Strava's NN Marathon Challenge. Is anyone else doing it this weekend? Which, which marathon challenge? Strava's NN Marathon Challenge. Um, I haven't seen that one. Um, I'm doing a marathon this weekend, but I, I haven't entered Strava's NN Marathon Challenge. I suppose I could do. Uh, that would tick that off, wouldn't it? Um, I, have, um, I have the Three Forts Marathon this weekend. It's a, actually, it's called the Three Forts Challenge because it's actually 27... Uh, miles, so not 26. Thank you, Grace. Grace says, nice singing. Who, who'd have thought that? Who'd have thought somebody would tell me nice singing? <laughs> I'm not going to mention that. Uh, I don't know if anybody replied to my, um, has anyone been to Tokyo on, on the actual game chat? I wasn't looking. I haven't checked. Uh, right, that video, says Ryan Perrin, came up as recommended for me earlier from a few years back. Uh, which one? Uh, Big in Japan, Turning Japanese, or Japanese Boy? Anyway, so we're talking about Japan because uh, the, the big news is we think that the Tokyo or Japan uh, world map is coming soon. Very, 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 very soon. Lots and lots of hints and and, um, and teases from Zwift. Uh, there was an interview with Wes Salmon uh, this last week, and on the wall behind him was a map which said the ancient world on it. So that was interesting. Um, there have been a couple of photos um, of um, parts of worlds that we've never seen before. Oh, my Three Forts video. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ryan. Um, so there was an email sent out recently to some people, and on the bottom of the email was uh, an image um, of, a, of part of a world with bamboo in it, and it didn't look like any world that we know of at the moment. And also there's been an image of um, a, a road with a Spirit of written on it. Uh, so... Uh, uh, the the tarmac of a road with the words the spirit of written on it and uh, that is not part of any world that we know of either Um, big up to Zwift Insider for all this information that we've just gleaned Uh, but uh, we did know about some of it already uh, but some other stuff is new to me I've just found out today Uh, so uh, (laughs) right Jeff Partridge says surely the ancient world is Greece Olympic connection, no? Well, it would that would be a good shout if it weren't for all the other clues pointing to Japan and also the fact that we know that Zwift has signed up with uh, the Olympics uh, for Japan, so, for Tokyo. So we're pretty sure that it's, that it's 
it's Tokyo. Um, but that would be a, that would be definitely a curved ball if it was Japan, if it was Greece. Uh, hello again. Look, I'm much brighter on camera four. Maybe I should have it on auto. Maybe I should that camera. Maybe I should have that camera on auto. Um, what? I look. Yeah, but that's because you're two inches taller than me on the treadmill. Victoria says I look very short. Um, Brian Perring says the inside of the train looks identical to Japanese with the rings. Yes, the the, the um, Olympic rings are the, the same colour, aren't they? Uh, right, Jeff Parcher says Tokyo is never going to happen. Well, that's an interesting shout, of course. Yeah, we we don't. Yeah, it, it might it might not happen. Yeah, but anyway, I think they will release uh, Tokyo anyway. Uh, Rob Harrison says stand on a box. If I had a box, Rob, I, I would stand on it. Um, no, I don't want to explain that. Uh, Victoria says, do I want to explain all about the fact that Victoria had to wear flat shoes on our wedding day so she didn't look three inches taller than me walking down the aisle? Uh, no, I, I don't want to explain that at all. Uh, there's, a, there's a sort of aisle. got married in a registry office so there wasn't really much of an aisle to walk down uh, yeah camera four is nice says uh, says grace it's looking better isn't it now Right, I'm just. I'm going to go and grab my coffee. I'm going to go grab my coffee. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Victoria for five minutes. Well, Stephen's gone. Not that I'm going to talk about him. Jeff, what was the uh, latest with John Kelly? Because I've not been keeping up to date with it.
I think John Kelly is hungry to get that title back because he had stomach issues last year. Maybe he felt you know, he needed to give it his best. sister is just ahead of me. Hello to Rob's sister. Uh, is it Jankowska? Hopefully I've pronounced that correct. Yeah, Tina, I think it's difficult to motivate yourself to do online classes as well as everything else. I know I've actually got a real class book and I go to it. I'm just saying hi Victoria and five. I think that's five. Do well. Oh, is that Neil? Hello Neil. Yeah, Del Toros, uh, what is an affordable treadmill? Um, it honestly depends on your budget um, because there are, there, are, there are so many different kinds of treadmill and so many different specs. Um, it really depends on what, what money you have to spend. Um, any, I mean, you can use any treadmill with Zwift, uh, but if you want a smart treadmill, currently the, the most affordable well basically the cheapest smart treadmill that you can get at the moment is the one sitting here on my left which is the noble pro um now it, it, there are two different prices one with a one with a touch screen and one without but the treadmill itself is exactly the same so look for the noble pro um 8.0 um it's uk price is about 1000 pounds um if you get if you get the touch screen, you have to add an extra 500 uh, to that. Uh, but it connects directly to Zwift, so there's no need for a, a foot pod. Well, you do need a foot pod for cadence, if you want cadence. Um, but other than that, um, it connects direct to Zwift for speed um, and incline as well. Uh, and they are very, very proactive with the Zwift community. So. And there are a couple of us on here with uh, discount codes. So if you want a 5% discount, uh, myself or Adam Holland can get you a 5% discount on the, the Noble Pros. And they are constantly asking um, the team of, of uh, users, so that includes everyone who's bought a Noble Pro recently, what they think of the machine, how they can improve it. Um, and one of the things that was recently mentioned was that um, that we, we didn't like the fact that the, the treadmill was uh, default set at 1%, so it's at an angle. When you buy it and you put it on the floor, it's at an angle um, of 1%. Uh, and we said, uh, is there anything you can do about that? So they basically designed and printed, 3D printed, some shoes for the back of the treadmill. And quite a few of us now have got um, beta versions of those shoes and have put them on the treadmill and it's leveled the treadmill up to 0%, uh, which is fantastic. And they're, and, uh, they're constantly looking for um, uh, people to help them out with, with advice and feedback uh, to make the machines better. And that can only be a good thing. Uh, yes, and another thing is about the incline, it's currently um, they currently uh, send uh, levels rather than percentage. 
uh, which can be a, a bit confusing um, and is very confusing for Zwift, which reads the level as a percent and that's incorrect. Uh, so they're going to do something about that with a firmware update soon. Uh, so things like that, yeah, it seems like a nice company. Yes, they are. Whereas when well, you've got something like the Technogym, which Victoria is currently running on, which is much more expensive, about twice the price treadmill. Um, uh, well, yes. Yeah, so if you get the if you get the Noble Pro Elite 8.0 uh, AI, which is 1500, it's about twice the price, three times the price. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we, we don't have an awful lot of contact with customer support there. They are there if you need them. Uh, they do respond, um, but they're, they're nowhere near as proactive with the community on Zwift as the Noble Pro community are. Um, but it, it is, you know, for the price you're paying, it is a, a, a better treadmill in terms of the, the quality of the motor and things like that and the feel. It's, it's more like an outdoor road feel, whereas the Noble Pro is a little bit more cushioned um, and, and comfortable, but still a solid treadmill. And Amy says, um, my treadmill should be delivered on Thursday. Excellent. So, uh, yes, um, we were talking about Japan, uh, so uh, we're fairly sure that uh, in the next uh, week to two weeks, I say we're fairly sure, who knows really, but uh, in the next week to two weeks we think there will be a new map on Zwift um, and it will be Tokyo or Japan um, in line with their um, partnership for the Olympic Games, whether the Olympic Games happens or not. Uh, we don't know, but we are fairly sure that that map will be coming very soon indeed. Uh, Victoria has done 5K of the Zwift Long Distance Runners uh, recovery run. Uh, they're doing a progressive run, so she's running with Clive Finnimore. Um, who else is there with you? Anyone? Uh, Neil Messenger's running as well. Um, and uh, we've got uh, Gina leading the group, who is... Uh, continually uh, telling her jokes um, she says we've passed 30 minutes and you're still alive from my jokes <laughs> uh, I have told her to get a new joke book so maybe she has got a new joke book this week uh, Monday Run Club which is what we normally do on a Monday night it's either too early or too late at the moment uh, so it's either 5.30 or 8.30 or something and it's uh, same with Wednesday workout although we might try and do Wednesday workout on Wednesday um, we'll see. Um, it's just fitting it around the kids' swimming lessons on Wednesday, which we go to. Um, the other thing to talk about is the Zwift Running League. Um, so we might have a look, at, if, you, if Victoria doesn't mind, um, we'll have a quick look at some of the results from the Zwift Running League uh, because we are into the last week now. We've got one more week left. Uh, yeah, Ryan is right. We're getting close to level 21 for Victoria. I don't think she'll hit it today. Uh, it needs, she needs another, yeah, maybe another 20 or 30k before she hits level 21, but she's getting close. So yeah, in a minute, I think we'll, um, we'll, we'll have a little look at the um, Zwift Running League. Um, we'll, well, we won't spend that long on it, or we'll click back to you just in case. Are you speeding up every kilometre? Okay. Uh, Kevin DeLuca says, e each of Gina's jokes, my heart rate goes up 10 beats per minute. <laughs> uh, Jeff Partridge says, what day are you doing uh, the Wednesday workout? We're not entirely sure yet, Jeff. Um, yeah, what day? Uh, we're not entirely sure. Uh, we, we, it might be Thursday or it could be Tuesday, uh, but we haven't quite decided uh, yet. Uh, Kim Salt uh, proudly announces that she is the slowest person in the Zwift Running League. <laughs> that's all right. You are in the Zwift Running League and that's what counts, Kim. You're far, yeah, you're faster than all the people who are sitting on their backsides not doing the Zwift Running League, Kim. That's what counts. Oh, uh, Victoria with one of her uh, uh, memes, uh, finishing lines, not finishing times. 
yeah, there you go, Ryan. Uh, Kim, uh, Ryan says, you're doing laps around my lazy ass, Kim. A trucking lad, uh, who is excited for the 5th of June? Right, you've caught me out there, Louis. Uh, what is on the 5th of June? Have I missed something? What's happening on the 5th of June, Victoria? Uh, you'll have to tell us what's happening on the 5th of June, uh, Louis, because I don't know. I'm sorry. It's, it's something that I'm sure I should remember, uh, but uh, I haven't. The day before D-Day, yeah? Uh, Kim says, I feel sorry for my team, though. Oh, the, yes, Park Run. Okay, yeah, well, uh, around the country in the UK uh, on June the 5th, uh, Park Run starts again. Uh, one of the biggest running events in the... Well, probably the biggest running event in the UK. Um, if you've got one in your country, uh, good for you. It's not spread totally around the world, uh, but there are regular events in Australia... Uh, regular events in, in France and Denmark and Russia and a few in the USA. Not many in the USA, but a few. But it's mainly a UK event. Uh, five kilometres, free, timed run every Saturday morning at nine o'clock. And it hasn't run since um, March 2020. So uh, the last park run, the last official park runs were March 2020. Uh, Amy says, uh, my results aren't up, but it doesn't look like anyone's result is up from her race. Yeah, I noticed that, Amy. I, w I just thought maybe you hadn't been given a result again. Uh, but if you're saying that there's no results from your race on Saturday morning, so there are different races, as you might, you might well know, with the Swift Running League. Uh, the biggest one is the Friday night race, uh, which is uh, Europe uh, East. No, Europe West, sorry. Uh, that happens at 7 p.m. on a Friday UK time, uh, but there is also uh, there are also races at other time zones, four other time zones. Uh, so you've got America East and America West. You've got Australasia, um, and uh, Amy runs in the run that happens in the UK. It happens on a Saturday morning, and that's the last run of the Zwift Running League uh, session. Uh, but she says her results aren't up. So let's uh, let's go and have a look. Uh, Louis says, my PB was 33 minutes, but it's now down to 23 minutes. Park run. Very good. Uh, try and get it below 20 minutes next, Louis. That's the, that's the, uh, the goal, I think. Uh, Ryan says, will Park run be limited numbers or organised differently? Or just the usual? Well, I think it's going to be um, just the usual, is my guess. They're going to encourage people. I reckon they're going to encourage people to social distance. But I think it's just going to be mass starts. I can't see how they can possibly organise um, wave starts or socially distanced starts. Um, they might be able to do it, but I don't think they will. I think they're just going to have... A mass start and just ask people to social distance. Uh, Jeff says there are 21 countries outside the UK that have park run. Yeah, um, most notably Scandinavia. Scandinavia is quite big into it. South Africa as well uh, has quite a few park runs. Uh, so yeah, there are there are lots of countries with park runs, uh, but uh, none have anywhere near the number that the UK do. Um, Tina, is yours Montacute in uh, Yeovil? Um, we've run that one. Uh, I have. I've run that one. Wow, that's a long time ago. Victoria says that was before she was a runner. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to uh, look for the Zwift Running League up here. So we'll just move this to the side while we, while we find... Oh, that's not right. Not right. We want W T R L. There it is. And we'll need to log in. Uh, possibly. Uh, we'll have a look. Let me just see.
Then, yeah, it's this. Oh, where's my login? Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to make it big. because, I, Yeah, there it is. So I'm stuck in the corner there. Right, let's just, let's just do this quickly. Well, I was going to say let's do it quickly, big, but okay. Um, right, race five. So let's look at the results. Atlanta, uh, your top three. No, uh, how many ran? So only nine runners in Atlanta. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Let me get the right screen up so you can actually see uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, Grace says, uh, I learned about park runs via Zwift. Uh, people keep saying, just a park run left. Yes, <laughs> that's the way we do it. Uh, Rob Harrison's park run is Ashton Court in Bristol. Uh, Ryan Perring. <laughs> yeah, this is a really professional outfit. Uh, Mark Mansueto, evening everyone. Hello, Mark. Um, truck, uh, yeah, Louis, a Garmin watch can cost anything from a hundred pounds to eight hundred, nine hundred pounds. Uh, Tina, yes, we've done Mon Montecute, uh, par I've done Montecute Park Run uh, quite a few years ago now, but I loved it. Very nice course, difficult though, it's not a quick course, is it? Right, okay, let's have a look here. So Herbert Krabel, uh is now down there in number seven uh, with uh, Team ST6, Team uh, Storm, isn't it? Team Storm, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, Victoria, it's much nicer if it's bigger. Can I just make it bigger? All right, so we're just going to wait for Victoria to go up to seven and then we'll make it bigger because I can't see it properly at this size. But nine runners finished in, uh, in the Atlanta run. Uh, Adam Holland second, Schleidner, uh, Buchholz and Martley for JSPO. Uh, but Team Storm are in the lead. Um, and that's because both um, Noble Pro uh, Jarvis Bear and JSPO um, have failed to score points in some of the runs. So let's have a look at the, uh, the league for Atlanta. So there's Team Storm look at the top because they have scored points in every run. Whereas Jarvis Bear and um, and JSPO have failed to score points in two runs. So race three, JSPO failed to score and race five, Jarvis Bear failed to score. And that means Team Storm, whilst not the fastest runners, are actually in the lead. Uh, Helsinki. So this is, yeah, so this is uh, the T, the uh, group that I'm in. Uh, so Noble Pro Ibex are currently in the lead. Uh, Film My Run, which is my team, we're second. Uh, we are nine points behind Noble Pro Ibex and Zwift Squad. Uh, that's Lucio's team. Uh, they are in third place with 83 points with one race to go. So it's going to be quite difficult to catch Noble Pro Ibex. I don't think we're going to do it because if you see there, they have scored 20 points almost every race so they're going to have to have a disaster in race six to uh to not score at least 19 or 20 points and um if we can get 19 points we'll we'll definitely finish in second place uh, to noble pro ibex and swift squad will come in third uh, so the runners in uh, in that race results for race five for helsinki so Dan Matt from my team won it, uh, but Heimar uh, from Noble Pro IMX, IBEX came in second. Uh, Kanasa uh, Anderson, Team Kanasa came in third. Marco uh, from Corikarim Caminos came in fourth. Uh, Birch from Keeping Up with the Kenyans. Then uh, Greg Taylor from the uh, Zwift HQ team, Rocket Runners. Uh, Lucho from Zwift Squad. Uh, Rosenthal from uh, Dirty Dashers. Uh, in eighth, and then Dasso uh, from Zwift Squad in ninth, and Evans 
uh, from Nova Pro Ibex in 10th. Remy Jarij in 11th and Tim Iveson in 12th. No, um, he finished 12th in, in our actual race. Yeah. Uh, and well done to all the other runners. Uh, there's me down there in 19th position. Uh, Lucho is really fast, says Grace. Uh, right, Luch uh, right. Ryan Perring says, what happened to you lot in race four? Um, well, it, don't, now don't blame Victoria. Uh, Dan Mapp couldn't make it for race four. Uh, so... Rather than get no points at all, we enlisted Victoria, and she did very well, uh, racing in a, a, a group that really was uh, quite fast. Uh, but yeah, she said she was a lamb to the slaughter. Uh, Susie from I Run Things uh, on YouTube, hello to you. Uh, yeah. So there's your 11. 300 meters to go and then Victoria will up it again uh, so that's that so that's um, Helsinki so this is one race left to go now guys one race left to go uh, let's look at Munich race five Munich uh, so uh, the winner was Gerdal uh, from Cryogen Terriers Hardy came second from TFC Harriers and Marcote Speedy Gonzalez team was third um, and then you can look down the list there for all the other runners um, from Munich and that means that the Munich League looks like this oh my mouse flying away with that a TFC Harriers are in the lead with Noble Pro T-Rex in second comfortably numb in third and uh, we're, we are Furiosas in fourth Oh, I, do you know what? I hate pronouncing this one. Phospholiation. ATP phospholiation. Fifth and fight for cancer in sixth. Uh, so that's how... Uh, phosphorylation. Phosphorylation? Uh, anyway, that's the Munich League at the moment with one race to go. And look how well they're doing in Munich. Uh, almost... Yeah, every team has scored points in the first five. Only fight for cancer there, uh, missed out in race five, and uh, not fast, just furious, missed out in race two. And Noble Pro Deer missed out in race one and race five. Uh, oh no, only only race one. Yeah, so the first five teams have done very well to keep the points going there. Let's look at Rome. Uh, so the Rome. Oh yeah, let's just put it back to Victoria quickly so she knows where she is. Yeah, up. Oh. Okay, so Victoria's jumped up with uh, 2K to go. So let's get this... Um... Oh, where's my mouse gone? There we are. Uh, let's get this running league sorted. Uh, Cryogen Whippets uh, are first in the Rome League. Victoria's Secret. Um, it's Gina uh, in... Uh, sorry, Grace in uh, Victoria's Secret. And uh, the four Musketeers of ZLDR are in third with Cryogen Whippets second team in fourth and Noble Pro Hermit Crab in fifth. Um, and again, um, mostly they've scored full points apart from Cryogen with its fourth team, uh, second team. Didn't score any points in race two, but they seem to have got it together in the Rome, uh, Rome group as well. So let's look at the last race for Rome. So who won that? Uh, Castro won it. Uh, Roswell uh, was second for Blue Whale. Uh, Neil Messenger was third for Blue Whale. And Kevin DeLuca from the Four Musketeers of ZLDR was fourth. And Jay Dollar from Fear Us was fifth. Well done to those guys. Uh, so it looks like the Hermit, uh, the uh, the Noble Pro uh, teams are really killing it at the moment. Sydney. So the final group, uh, race five for Sydney, was won by T. Kath from Noble Pro Squirrel. M. Hoy from Noble Pro Squirrel. Upton from Hydrolysis and Singleton from Noble Pro Squirrel. So Noble Pro Squirrel uh, got masses of points there. So 
Um, I'm assuming they're going to be pretty high up the leaderboard. Noble Pro Yeti, uh, Artelis was fifth. Scharf was sixth. And K Johnson, seventh. Also from Noble Pro Yeti. Um, Hydrolysis did well as well. Kim Salt there. Well done, Kim, from Noble Pro Yeti in 10th position. Uh, so let's have a look at how that uh, stacks up in the league. Okay, so uh, Rajan, oh, sorry, no, hang on, Sydney, there we go. CMA Honeys are still in the lead, even though they scored zero points in race five. Uh, CMA Honeys are still in the lead, but only by two points from, from Nova Pro Yeti and three points from Hydrolysis. So that is a really, really close group there. So it's all to play for, for the win um, from three different teams. In fact, possibly four different teams. Uh, Nova Pro Squirrel will have 53 points. So it depends what happens, but uh, CMA Honeys have to put a team out for six or they will lose uh, to Nova Pro Yeti or Hydrolysis. So that is a real battle going on there um, in, um, in the Sydney uh, League. Amazing work. So that's the, that's the Zwift Running League, everybody. Um, keep it together. Keep getting those points for your teams. Uh, one race to go. Uh, Kim, it doesn't matter that Yeti has the slowest person because Yeti is in there with a shout. You are in there with a shout for the win, uh, Kim. So don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, Amy says, I can't tell why my result isn't there. Uh, have you emailed them, Amy? Have you messaged them? Uh, yeah, Grace says, just showing up is half the battle. Okay. Oh, 1,200, right, 1,200 metres. I thought Victoria said 100 metres to go then. Uh, yeah, 1,200 metres to go. So uh, coming to the end of uh, kilometre eight or kilometre nine, coming to the end of kilometre nine and into kilometre 10, yeah. So we've discussed the Zwift Running League. Uh, we have discussed the imminent arrival of the Tokyo map which we think is going to come any time this week or next. Certainly before the end of May. It's got to be before the end of May because as, we, as we've as we seen, there are some runs scheduled already, or uh, some rides rather, scheduled already for the Tokyo course. Uh, yeah, we've also discussed the imminent arrival of Amy's Noble Pro treadmill, uh, which should be here soon. Uh, Amy says she can't see anyone else from her race. So maybe maybe there was some problem with that race then, Amy. Maybe the results will change um, in the next few days. If they like, Maybe they needed to have a look at it. And uh, yeah, Victoria is catching Jeff Partridge up there. Any... Oh, okay, Jeff is slowing down Okay, to, to say hello. Uh, Kim Salt reminds us that ZRS is this weekend. Yeah, so the, the regular um, Zwift race series happens this weekend. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Kim, can you remember what it's called? I just haven't got my, oh, excuse me, haven't got my phone with me. Um, I can't really, I could reach over to that one there. I've got the hiccups. Your camera angle's back on either. Uh, uh, Gina says, Jeff, they were trying to make sure you didn't spill your wine. Um, uh, Victoria and uh, Clive have just 
caught up and uh, Neil Messenger have just caught up with Jeff Partridge who said uh, why did it take you guys so long uh, right Kim Salt says ZRS this weekend is called Run the Ring or Run Around the Ring or something uh, Nick Janssen says thanks for the great run guys uh, I don't know if Nick Janssen was in the in the run there but uh, says thank you so we've been doing the Z. Well, I haven't been doing it. I'm lazy. I've just been standing around chatting. Um, but Victoria has been doing the uh, Zwift Long Distance Runners um, 10K Recovery Run. Uh, so this is um, on a Monday. You don't want to be doing a really hard session. Uh, you just want an easy run to recover from your maybe your long run at the weekend um, or your busy weekend. Uh, so this is just your starter for the week, much like Monday Run Club is as well. Uh, it's not a hard session. It's uh, basically just, you could make it a hard session if you wanted to, but um, um, just a, a nice easy session to get you going for the week and get you into your week's training. And uh, you can step it up a bit more on uh, Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, I Victoria was late. Uh, she, she had a Pilates class and she only made it about five minutes into the run. Uh, so the first 200, 300 metres or so uh, of the run was actually me walking on the treadmill with my slippers on. Don't forget tomorrow, uh, we have the, um, the Film My Run 500, uh, which will be led tomorrow by uh, Clive Finnemore. Uh, Clive Finnemore is down as leader, uh, so hopefully uh, his messages will pop up in the middle of the screen and he will lead you through uh, the Film My Run 500 that is 11.35 tomorrow morning UK time. Uh, that's uh, 12.35, so lunchtime on the continent over in Europe. Uh, nice and early morning, nice early morning run for you over in the east coast of the USA and a nice evening run for you if you are in Thailand or Malaysia or Tokyo or Australia. Uh, 500 metres to go. It is. For people who don't know, it's 500 metres of climbing. That's why it's called the, 500, the Film My Run 500. At 200 metres to go for Victoria. Thank you to Victoria for stepping in uh, because uh, my legs are a bit tired today. And uh, we're just coming to the end, into, up to the finish line. Uh, Louise says, hi, Susie. Uh, Ryan Perring says, you need a special intro when Victoria runs because when it says, and watch me do all the hard work, all I hear are lies. Yeah, you're right, actually. I sh <laughs> it takes a lot of work, though, to do those. So, uh, yeah, maybe I will try and do one for Victoria. You see, that's how talented I am. I can run and control the stream all at the same time and chat. Right, you can see how warm it is in the shed. Let me just change to this camera. Hang on. Yeah, this is uh, this is heat training. Look. So that is a that is a woman who's uh, who's put a bit of work in today uh, on that progressive run. Uh, although Tina says, nice relaxed run, Victoria. I'm off for dinner. See you soon. <laughs> uh, Clive says, thank you, Stephen Victoria. So uh, join Clive tomorrow for the Film My Run 500 at 11.35 UK time. Uh, Kim says, great run, Victoria. Um, so we will see you. Yeah, um, Victoria, no, no. Clive will see you tomorrow morning. Uh, not on this channel, though. Uh, go and watch Clive. Clive, will you be streaming tomorrow, Clive? Possibly Clive will be streaming tomorrow. But if not, uh, just go and join Clive for the run anyway. Uh, but he may well be streaming on his channel, live streaming on his channel. And then I will I will probably be back tomorrow evening um, because Victoria is going to run outside with the club tomorrow. Uh, so I am staying at home looking after the kids. Or when I say looking after the kids, standing on the treadmill hoping the kids don't get into a fight uh, whilst I'm running. 
So probably see you tomorrow evening for something. Actually, should we just have a little look? Let's just get um, Canyon app up. What is there we can do tomorrow? Events. Something short and easy to make tomorrow because I will have to ride legs again tomorrow. Oh, that's the wrong thing. There we are. Tomorrow, May the 18th. Um, ah, Pack Social 5K. That sounds just perfect, doesn't it? Right. We will join uh, Ryan Perring tomorrow. Is it R Ryan? Are you are you doing that tomorrow? Um, we'll join Ryan Perring or whoever, or Ryan Downey, whoever is running uh, the Pack Social 5K, 7:45 tomorrow evening. A nice, relaxed 5K run. Uh, join me uh, then for that. There you go. I'll just click the plus button. Uh, yeah. So Ryan. Uh, so. Um, uh, Clive Finnemore says yes he will be streaming tomorrow uh, with random dance music uh, so there you go so join Clive on his stream tomorrow for the film My Run 500 and then join me tomorrow evening UK time uh, of uh, what time is it uh, 7.45 for the uh, Pack Social 5k uh, so oh hang on a minute Ryan Perring says we've changed the setup from when you last joined or pace groups, but all together for chat. Okay, great. Well, I'll join it and uh, uh, that'll be fine. I've joined group A. Um, maybe I should join group B then for a slower run. Yeah, let's do that. I'll join I'll join a slower group because I, I want a slow run tomorrow. Oh, hang on a minute. Why is it not letting me sign up to it? Oh, this is interesting. Why is it not letting me sign up to the B group? Is it because it doesn't think... Is that something to do with... Um... Oh, hang on a minute. That's you. That's you anyway. No, it's not. It is me. It is me. Yeah, I've unticked. I've unticked group A. Right, let's close it down. Swipe it down and then, and then open it up again. This is interesting because this could be streaming, couldn't it? streaming of runners into appropriate groups is that what that is yeah, ryan perring says i've never seen that happen before uh where are we uh tuesday Back social 5k Here we go. oh there we are no it yeah now it's letting me do it oh well okay that was interesting right i've joined group b for tomorrow's pack social 5k uh so that'll be Okay, there we are. Right, we're all done. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, either in the morning for the Film Mario 500 uh, with Clive or tomorrow evening uh, for the Pack Social 5K. Take care. Thank you very much for watching. Well done to Victoria. Thank you for um, jumping into that and helping me out. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.